Anything? Not yet. How about now? Nope. Still doesn't save school schools for snow day. I'll get it! Hello, Henderson residents. Daddy! It's Daddy! Say hi for me. Dance is high. Guess what? Lost another tooth. Neat, huh? How's the dino dig? What was that? Triceratops! I wonder what she's running from. Tyrannosaurus Rex! Triceratops is way too fast for you. Hmm. I wonder how the T-Rex catches its food. It's always too fast for him. Then, Daddy says he'll call back later. Attention, students. Due to the heavy snowfall our area has received, please be advised. Snow day, snow day, snow Today has day. officially been declared a snow day. <gasps> I know you're really upset. Um, please take this opportunity to catch up on your homework. You know who you are. Snow, snow day! day! Don't have to go! Stay in and from school! Don't play in the snow! I'm not good at running! <laughs> I'll get it! Hey guys. Hi, Dan. Hi, hey. Chuck. Hello. Hey guys. We were thinking that because it's a snow day, we could go. Tobogganing! Cool. We can try out our new dino sled. We're going to tobogganing! La 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 logging! Snowfall ball throwing! This is gonna be a long, long day. <laughs> hey mom! Can we go tobogganing? <laughs> Tobogganing? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I gotta take these out. Let's go! <laughs> Come on, Dan, let's go. <laughs> okay, guys, be careful. See you at the Hey guys, look! Snowman! I wonder what happened to this one. He lost his head. Uh, <laughs> I think the answer's pretty obvious. It was the Yeti. Magical creature that lives way up north in the snow. Strong. Grr. Yeti? I guess that's possible, but these snowmen give me an idea for Dinosaur Experiment 124. See, we can make a Triceratops decoy out of snow to test how the T-Rex got its food. Great idea! Uh, what's a decoy again? A decoy is a fake animal scientist used to attract other animals so they can study them up close. T-Rex attack! Take over! 
so if we make a Triceratops do quite out of snow, we'll be able to test out the T-Rex and try to eat it. T-Rex attack! Cover again! Great idea. We can use these carrots for the horns. And we can use this broom for the frill around its neck. And now for the finishing touch. One, two, three carrot horns. Carrots for the horns and brooms for the frill around its neck. Our snow triceratops is the perfect decoy for the T-Rex. Is the frill kind of like my scarf? Kind of. Your scarf protects your neck from the cold, and the triceratops' frill protects its neck from other dinos trying to eat it. Come on, guys. We should be able to see the T-Rex try to eat it from behind this dino sled. Now we wait. And wait. And wait. Waiting for the T-Rex is fun, Dan, but not as much fun as tobogganing down that giant snow-covered hill. The T-Rex will be here soon, but sometimes science takes a lot of patience. I mean, if you guys just want to go up Tobogganing to... it is? <laughs> Time to slide! I'm so gonna wipe my nose. Dan, call us if the T-Rex comes. Okay, we'll be here soon. I hope. Ha! I knew it would work. Not a T-Rex, but two Dromaeosauruses. Dino Experiment 124. I'm using Snow Triceratops as a decoy to see how dinos got their food. Decoy test one. The Dromaeosauruses have spotted their prey. They're moving in. Looks like the Dromaeosauruses are about to make their move. I've read they might work as a team when hunting bigger animals. The first one is distracting the Snow Triceratops, while the other one moves in from behind. They did work as a team. Wait a second. First one's going in. It's taking a carrot. Uh-oh. I think they know it's a decoy. Yep. Ugh. Sure didn't like the carrot. Romeo sources don't like veggies. They're definitely carnivores. Meat eaters. Ready for decoy test two. I think I hear the T-Rex. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. Oh, that's not the T-Rex, but the Spinosaurus is cool too. Dinosaur turn 124, decoy test two. I'm still using the Snow Triceratops to see how dinosaurs got its food when the Spinosaurus arrived. The Spinosaurus is even bigger than the T-Rex. It has longer arms than the T-Rex too. It's going for the decoy. Grabbed it. Push it over! Now oh, he's got the frill. And he didn't like the frill. Looks like the Spinosaurus doesn't eat brooms. Another carnivore. Immediate. Dan, Dan, Dan! Hey guys, you won't believe what just happened. Neither will you. Corey hit the snow bump on the hill and got major air. I felt like a magical yeti. Dan, we haven't even dried out the dino sled yet. Swoosh! <laughs> Are you coming, Dan? Very soon. Just one more dino test to do. You know where to find us. <laughs> Guys, help! <clears throat> hey, guys, be careful when you drag him. Why is the T-Rex taking so long? Probably won't even come now that the decoy's turned on the side. Dinosaur Experiment 124. I'm still using the Snow Triceratops as a decoy to see how dinosaurs got their food. When the T-Rex, king of the dinos, arrived for decoy test three. Wait a second. Why is he going for Spinosaurus leftovers? Yeah, that's right. Some paleontologists think that T-Rexes were hunters and scavengers, and that they'll sometimes eat food other dinos left behind. That's 
why it didn't hunt the snow triceratops. It's scavenging. It looks like the T-Rex likes triceratops sickles. Dan, come on! Coming! Okay, that's enough research for one day. It's tobogganing time. See you, T-Rex! Thank <laughs> you.